Hi, everybody. I'm Dr. Sophie DeMaia, and I passionately hate mosquitoes because they really love me. Mosquitoes are not just annoying. They're the deadliest animal on this planet. And malaria alone uh, kills 0.5 million people each year. When I was traveling in Brazil, I was really, really worried that I would get Zika or dengue fever because 1.2 million have been infected with those diseases since January this year. So with changing climate, the geographical spread of mosquitoes is changing. That's why it becomes really important to monitor which species is present where in order to save lives. Currently, identification is done just by looking at adult mosquitoes. And therefore, you need highly trained entomologists to do that. Now, that is costing a lot of time as well as money. And it's very difficult to scale up. Our solution is Insect ID, which uses proteomics fingerprinting technology to come to an identification. We can not only do it from the adult mosquito, but we can also use the eggs and the larvae, which reduces the time and cost to come to this identification. Our technology is high throughput, only requires a couple of minutes to have an identification, and can be easily scaled up. In Australia alone, each year, hundreds of thousands of these identifications are done, which is costing the government millions. But think about countries with tropical climates, like Brazil, India, or Central Africa, where the huge populations are at risk. Furthermore, these countries really don't necessarily have the resources to put an effective monitoring system in place. And that's just not it. That's not all. We can do many more different insects uh, to provide a quick identification. Think of aphids. Our ask today is to get an introduction to the Vector Control Advisory Group from the World Health Organization. So please join me in fighting these annoying mosquitoes. Thank you. Thanks, Sophie. You actually have answered all the questions I had pre-prepared here. Oh, no. So I'm going to ask my own <laughs> question. Um, and it's a simple one. Yep. What does it look like in five years' time? What would you like Maldi ID to look like five years from now? Um, as Maldi ID is really a platform technology, so we're currently commercially servicing the farmers in Australia to improve their legume production. We really want to see Maldi ID in many different industries where identification of microorganisms is crucial. Food industry, quality control of food products, aquaculture, seafood production. We really want to be able to provide a technology to multiple different industries and identify the unidentifiable. Great, thank you. 